If I was to say to you, if you implemented these two things to your business and your life, you were going to work less and earn more, would you be interested? So the first thing I would implement is the 80-20 rule, also known as Pareto's law. So what that is, is that it states that roughly 80% of the consequences come from 20% of the causes. So if you have 80% of your problems in your business, they will come from 20% of your causes. So what we do is we focus on the areas where are gonna be the highest return on investment and the areas where you're gonna have the most problems. And what we do is reduce the problems and we spend all the time in the highest return on investment areas. So the number one thing to do is to identify the areas where 80% of your results come from. So if it's 80% 80 of your results, that means it's gonna come from 20% of those areas. So what we do is you double down on the 20% of those areas. So where that might be, it might be a specific marketing strategy. It might be a certain sales funnel that's working well. It might be a way that you're outreaching to other people. So find those areas, double down on them, and then remove the areas that aren't working so much. This is very, very, very important. It can save you a lot of time and it can get you very, very good results. The next thing to do is to focus on or identify the areas where 80% of your problems come from. So if you have 80% of your problems that are coming from, maybe it's a lack of communication, maybe it's a lack of standardization, maybe it's a lack of effective marketing, as we said before. So identify those areas. Um, and they will come from 20% of the areas again. So 80% of the problems, 20% of the areas. Find them and remove them as much as you can. So what you're doing here is you're basically focusing on all of the areas that generate results and then all of the areas that are bringing you the problems and you're increasing the results, removing the problems. So you're instantly improving your business upwards, upwards. So what you want to do is make sure that you do this on a weekly, a monthly, basis so you're consistently looking at the areas where you're going to get the most results and you're going to remove the problems and i do this for my life i do this for my business and it's had massive massive effects so really really focus on this and it can really improve the growth of your business i'll give you an example of this i'm working with one client recently and and he was spending a lot of his time creating content he was spending a lot of his time trying to get clients via um, different short form content and long form content when actually he was getting his clients by just sending personalized videos via social media. So it's like, okay, yes, you are a video marketing agency, but if you wanna get all the results, you wanna make sure that you're looking at the, the areas where your agency is already or has already got those results and double down on them. So it's about, yes, you wanna be putting videos out there because you're a video editing agency. So you wanna make sure that the people see those videos and see that you're good at that. But if you, all your clients are coming from putting out messages that are personalized via social media, double down on here. Have this as a maybe 20% of what you do, but then this is 80% of what you do. So you're gonna get more clients and then more people are gonna get, so you're gonna have more clients flowing in and then you're gonna have your content where you can grow as well and grow your audience in that respect. So it's very important to be balanced on, on both ends. Next up is Parkinson's law. So this is a law that states that if you give yourself one day to clean your house, you're gonna take one day. If you give yourself 12 hours to clean your house, you're gonna take 12 hours. If you give yourself one hour to clean your house, you're probably gonna take just one hour. So if you use this rule and apply it to your business tasks or the things that you are doing throughout the day, you are going to revolutionize the way that you are doing everything and you're gonna do it 10 times faster. So this is the element where you're, so the 80-20 rule was the earning more and this is the element where you're gonna spend less time in the business. This is so, 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 so important. So what I like to do is I like to allocate myself specific time blocks for certain tasks. So what I will do is I'll go, okay, what tasks do I do throughout the whole week? So these are all the tasks that I do throughout the week. I'll, let, I'll list them out and then I'll break them down into days as to how I wanna complete them. And then I like to personally work only four hours a day, three to four hours, depending on what I'm doing. So I'll go, okay, I've got to achieve this throughout the week. I'm going to work, or I want to work four hours a day. So a four hour work focus book. These are very, very good. 
if you work four hours, you can get more done than you can in eight hours. If you work eight hours, you can get more done than you work in 16 hours if you are focused and you have no distractions. The trouble is with most people is that they have too many distractions. They'll have Discord open, Telegram open, WhatsApp on their phone, they'll have music going over there. They have too many things going on. So when you're in this work block, make sure that you are working and you're focusing on those tasks and getting them done. I'm not saying rush through them and do them inadequately. I'm saying get them done to the best of your ability without any distractions. You'll be just surprised how much work you can get done. A very good tip here is to just start. So say you've got the four hour work block in a day. So the first things you want to do are the highest return on investment tasks. So if I was going to say I was going to create uh, another video, which is going to give me more outreach and more potential and more um, views on what I'm doing. Um, and then it might be creating a, a blog or a giveaway to give away about something to do with marketing or growing a business or anything, anything that I've been focusing on. Um, that's going to be a higher return on investment than answering some emails or talking to my sales and marketing team or talking to somebody else, you know. So literally go through the day and the week, allow yourself the four hours, that work block, your highest return on investment tasks first and you work backwards and you're getting everything done as efficiently as possible. And I think what you'll find is if you apply the 80-20 rule and then you put it into the Parkinson's law so you're only giving yourself three or four hours per day to complete these tasks, which is high return on investment tasks first, you're going to completely change the way that your business works, the business operates, and how fast you're going to be able to grow and scale and increase your profits. So the final thing that you should be looking at implementing is effective business systems. So if you add the Parkinson's law, the 80-20 rule, and effective business systems and processes and put them all together into one package, Within your business, this is a very, very, very powerful strategy to explode the growth of your business and completely change what you thought was possible. Systems and processes are often a very boring topic to talk about, but to be honest, I've always been known as the systems guy because anything that I do, I like to create a system out of it to be the most efficient that I can. I, I, I often end up going, even for my morning routine, I'll be systemizing that to go, okay, I'm gonna to go to here first, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, it's gonna take X amount of time. So this is how you want to be doing it for your business. You look at every single piece of work or action that you take within that business and you break it down into steps and you look at it and you write it down into, you can call them SOPs or you can call them workflows or flow charts. There's many ways of doing it and different ways of putting it onto paper or into documentation so that it's there for people to see, the people that work for your business and for you to know that these are the foundations, these are the systems and processes with how my business operates. And if you get these processes right and systems, then it gives you an amazing building block to scale your business upward. Because without these systems and processes, if you want to bring on 10 more clients into your business, you're not gonna have the structure there to be able to fulfill those clients with the, with the product or service that you are offering, which is a massive problem. So that's the first thing that I always focus on when I'm helping clients is let's look at how the business operates and what can we do to implement really simple systems and processes that are gonna push the business forward and help you with the growth. That's the most important thing. I'll give you an example of a system just in case you weren't sure. So you've got number one might be a client acquisition or onboarding process. So we get a client that's come from here. He's paid his money. He's on now on the mentorship program or coaching program or whatever your product or service is. How are we going to onboard him onto what we're doing? So for me, the most simple way would be to create a flow chart. So you go here, he's paid his money. The next step here is what we're doing is we're gonna tell him how the product or service is going to benefit him and what we're gonna do. Here's all the details if you want to contact anybody. And this is the strategy or timeline of how it's gonna operate. So it's about visually seeing exactly how the process works. And then within that, it will go, okay, so, my operations manager is gonna handle this part of the process. My marketing and sales manager is gonna handle this part of the process. So it's about letting your team know or whoever is doing this process that this is the system and these are the people fulfilling that system. And you do that for every area of your business, break it down, 
into simple chunks and make it very easy for somebody. Say if I've never seen a business before and I walked into this business and they had nothing at all written down, it was all in somebody's head and they were scrambling around trying to get things done and completed. It's gonna be a nightmare, it's gonna be impossible. And what it also is doing is meaning that you need to be there to operate that business. So if you're ill for a week, that business is gonna really struggle to operate. And what you want to do is make sure that your business can operate without you. Now, this is very important because in the future, if you want to sell your business, you want to sell it with the intention that you don't need to be a part of that business. Therefore, it makes the value of that business much, much higher. So this is a very, very important thing a lot of people miss. They always have themselves as an integral part of the business. Whereas I like to go, okay, yes, I'd like to be involved in the business, but if I want to remove myself out of the business and sell it on in the future, I'm not there anymore. So somebody's got to be able to come in and operate that business without going, bloody hell, how the hell do I do all of this? This is ridiculous, okay? It's all there, all of the building blocks are in place, all systemized, documized, documented, and workflows able to scale and grow so they see the value or future value in that business. So really make sure you spend some time on this. Yes, it's boring. Yes, nobody wants to do it, but it's gonna help you scale much, much faster. It's gonna help the smoothness of your business much better. It's gonna help you fulfill all of your clients. Everything that you do is gonna be better, easier, smoother, faster, nicer, more enjoyable, easier for you, better for everybody, more value. You can see where I'm going with this. Just get it done. And then once it's done and those systems in place, you can forget about it for the future. So just to summarize all of this up, what you wanna do is implement the 80-20 rule to all areas of your business to improve and focus on the highest return on investment tasks. Number two, you wanna use Parkinson's law to maximize the efficiency of your business and spend less time doing those tasks, which will be the return, highest return on investment task. Number three, you wanna implement and use systems and processes that are gonna be the building blocks of your business to allow you to really explode upwards in terms of growth. So what you're going to do and have as a result of this is you're going to earn more, you're gonna work less, you're gonna be able to sell your business in the future, which is so much more powerful and everything is going to run so much better and smoother for you and your team and your clients. So it's a win-win all round. This is an amazing thing to implement. Make sure you focus on this on a weekly basis and a monthly basis. It doesn't need to take long. You can just come down with a notepad, literally spend a couple of hours just to see where the results are coming from, see where the problems are coming from. It's just a little bit of analytics, but it does take a little bit of time and focus. So really make sure you do do this for your business and you're gonna see some life-changing results. So if you wanna learn more about growing your business and improving your business and all while working less, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.